Hello and welcome. I am Jay, and this is another Basics of Rumble video. Today we're going to go over Red Belt. It is called Monolith. It is the fifth rank you gain in this game. It comes with two moves. If Green Belt is where you begin to gain control over the battlefield, Red is where you complete that control. It comes with two of the most useful moves in the game. Black Belt adds some really nice flair and some really good techniques that you can use to do things, but Red Belt is really where you finish that control. The moves you gain are called Parry and Hold. I will go over Hold first. Hold has a lot of nuances to it. It's a very complicated move. I'm going to go over some of them in this video, but not all of them. I will go over all of them in a later video, a video that isn't a basics video, when you need to know what those nuances are. Hold allows you to bind an object to one of your hands. Yes, you can use your left or your right for this. For me, I use my right. In order to do this move, you move your main hand straight ahead of you, arm at about shoulder height, palm facing outward, fingers pointing up, thumb pointing, in this case, to the left. You hold it up like you're trying to tell the object in front of you to stop. You do not aim at the object. If the object is floating, you don't aim up. If it's on the ground, you don't aim down. You aim straight ahead of you every time you want to do a hold. That is the position of your main hand. Your off hand comes up underneath and you place the bottom of your palms together, your off hand mirroring your main hand. So your palm is outward, your fingers are pointed down, and your thumb is pointing, in this case, off to my left. It would be this way if you want to bind the object to your left hand. This is the basic position. Remember, don't aim at the object, aim straight ahead. You might have to adjust your bottom hand a little bit in order to get it to work, but this is the basic position for hold. Move looks like this. It binds the object to whatever hand is on top in the formation. Since my right was on top, it binds it to my right. If I'd have had it over here with my left on top, it would have bound to my left. Yes, you can technically bind two objects to each hand. You can do a hold on your right hand and hold on your left, but it's really difficult to do and it's not all that useful. And I will explain why. The reason it's not very useful is because hold doesn't provide a sure grip on the object. If I move my hand too fast, the hold will break. That, by the way, is the easiest way to get rid of an object that you are holding. The other way to get rid of it is to merely re-enter the hold stance and the object will drop. It won't ground, I did that accident. The primary use for this ability is to take a projectile with you as you rotate around the map, keeping it in reserve. Then you can throw it whenever you want to. However, it's not just as simple as lobbing it, here are a couple of quick tips. One is if when you're throwing an object, instead of just lobbing it, you end up in the straight position, it will throw the object farther and faster. Like so, if I, if I just lob it, it goes like that. If I end up in a straight, it goes a little farther. With a boulder or a pillar, you do not need to build any forward momentum on it before you go into a straight. You can just hit it. So if I just do that, it'll just go. However, forward momentum makes it go farther faster. See? You can do that with either of those. With a cube or a wall, however, you do need to bring your arm back and have forward momentum on it. If you don't, what'll happen is you will just continually knock yourself backwards. So in order to do that, you actually have to have forward momentum on it. It looks like this. 
However, it's not simple. If you just pull an object back, it'll generally hit you. So in order to effectively do that, what you have to do is swing your arm off to the side to get the object to the side of you, and then throw it forward. So make sure with a cube or a wall, when you're trying to build up forward momentum, you're swinging it off to the side and doing it that way. Actually, you, you should do it with a boulder too, because if you just bring a boulder back, you may hit yourself, you may not. But just make sure you're not hitting yourself with the object you're trying to throw. And that is the basics of hold. There's a lot more to it, there's a lot more subtleties, a lot more nuances, but that is the basics. Play with it between matches, spend some time getting used to it, figure out what works best for you. Knowing how to use hold effectively makes you a much greater threat than not knowing how to do it. So I, I genuinely suggest you practice with it and get it to where you can use it well. But for now, let's move on to parry. Parry, unlike hold, is a very simple move that does a very simple thing. It stops all momentum on an object. It freezes it in midair. It works on every stone object. It doesn't matter if they are coming at you, going away from you, going up, going down, going left, going right. It doesn't matter. It will kill all momentum and stop the object where it is for a few moments. The move looks like this. Both your hands up, palms outward, fingers pointing upwards, just like you're really trying to get something to stop. It takes a little bit of timing to get right, but the more I play with it, the more I realize how generous the timing on it is. The move looks like this. That is what it does. Because it is hard to record this move and show it off, I will insert some footage from a match here. There are two examples of a parry, one from me and one from my opponent. It is a very strong move if you can get the timing down. A side note to parry is that it will also unground or free any object that you spawn. So if you spawn a wall, you'll note it's grounded if I hold it. Now why did you go and do that? If I hold it, it's still stuck to the ground. If I kick it, it's ungrounded and I can grab it. If I reground it and do a parry and then a hold, it will immediately unground it. Just an alternate way to use the move and use hold. You don't have to kick every object in order to get it up in the air. You can just do a parry on it. And those are the moves of Red Belt. We only have one more video to go. And then I can get to teaching you some really cool moves. I'm very excited about it, but we're going to finish the last basics video and then we're going to move on to combos. Thank you very much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. I hope this was helpful. Good luck and happy earthbending. Bye.